Josh, it's great to welcome you to Hull City. Um, firstly, just give us your reaction to your deadline day move. Yeah, it was sort of one that I was sort of praying to get over the line. Um, uh, heard of the interest when the club give permission to, to, to approach me and then I was just said to my representation like we need to get the deal done and, and thank God that managed to go through so I'm absolutely over the moon to be here because it is a massive club and, and, and the fan base is fantastic and I'm just hopefully that we can have a fantastic season and, and really make something of it. The manager's just been speaking to the press and he said he's been chasing you for two or three weeks now that must be nice to hear as a player. That yeah it is. Massively, you always want to go somewhere where you, um, you feel appreciated and that's the welcome I got, not only from the manager, but as soon as I come in with, with, with my new teammates. So the, the camaraderie and the, and the environment seems to be <clears throat> very good and the standards are very high and I think that's what's needed to have a successful team. So as you say, that to, for a team like this to, to, be, to be wanting you for, for that amount of time is absolutely brilliant and I'm delighted to be here. Yeah. Quick, powerful and versatile in terms of playing anything anywhere across the front three is, what, he said. is what Grant McCann oh, no said. Pressure. Yeah, yeah I've, I've been, managed to play across the, the front three for Northern Ireland um, and sort of the same for uh, at Bolton, you know, and I'm playing in a team that, that suits my style of play, seems to hopefully bring out the best of my ability and hopefully that's what the gaffer can do here, what he managed to do at Doncaster and this, the style of play is sort of what he's trying to replicate here and it's a, it's a formation and a system that, that hopefully I'll be able to flourish in. Difficult times obviously at, at Bolton over the last few weeks and months have been well documented. In terms of your pre-season and your fitness coming here, where are you at at the moment? Yeah, I, I managed to go back into Bolton um, when, when it was needed after the national break and I managed to just um, do what needed to be done in, in terms of pre-season because I knew with the transfer window, you know, anything can happen and it would only be sort of criminal of myself if I decided not to do anything because I would be playing catch up if I managed to get a move so um, I've managed to just just keep working you know whether that's in at the uh, whether it was in Appleton or it's just in the gym on my own just doing as much as I can to make sure that if the opportunity came I wouldn't be uh, playing catch up so I'm glad I've done it because today's training was a bit intense but um, it, it, it sort of showed me that what I was doing was was the right decision. You were just saying before the interview, the training session this morning was what you needed, that intensity. Yeah, yeah, it was just getting a uh, feel of the ball again. You know, it's, it, it's sort of cliche, but everyone says you don't really have the fitness until you're in training and in games. There's, there's only so much straight line running you can do on a treadmill. So to get back out and get moving again and, and sort of having a, a, a rough around with the lads is, is, is sort of what's needed just to, to dust the cobwebs off. So um, it was brilliant and I'm looking forward to the game tomorrow. In terms of your future here, what, what, what are you looking to achieve over the next couple of years? Just trying to be as successful as I can. Obviously, you know, t t my job is to score goals or try and be involved in goals and try and do that on, on a weekly basis. You know, uh, I think the formation here will, will, will hopefully bring out the best that I have to give. Um, I'm just, just ready to just get my head down and work hard and basically just do whatever it takes um, to get in the team and stay in and, and try and have the most successful season as you can. Because as you know, the, the, this league, the championship, you know, anything can happen. You know, two wins and you're up five places, but two, two losses, you're down them. So it's just trying to stay as consistent as we can and, and just see where we are come the end of the season. It's a division that you're familiar with, obviously, yeah. having been with Bolton last yeah. season. How did you find it? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, we started off... Um, absolutely brilliantly you know we managed to do quite well personally I was in amongst the goals and then it was sort of uh, bumpy uh, up and down and then of course uh, the circumstances what happened around the club sort of took its toll and then it just ended up where we, we were in a relegation battle and unfortunately uh, the, the club went down but um, it's very competitive you know there's no there's no easy games you know that's that's quite literal there just isn't an easy game there's no team that you look at and you think yeah they'll they'll do us today it's you've got to prepare right you've got to make sure that no stones left um, uncovered and from the meetings that we've had today going into the Reading game um, that's sort of the, the ethos and the process that the manager has here so we think everyone's got a respect here um, that the league is going to be tough and it's anything by everyone's 100% is, is, is not going to be good enough so we're looking forward to the challenge I think we, we've got a really really good squad and I'm just looking forward to try and give uh, anything I can to, to help the team be um, as productive as we can. Do you feel you'll settle well here, given your first day? Yeah, you know, it's always, it's always crazy coming into a new club on your first day. Um, I think this is one of the only clubs I've been at where I haven't known someone from a previous club. So it's sort of like the first day back at school, um, teetering around, seeing where the canteen is and, 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 and the routine. But as I said before, the lads have been brand new. There's been a... a a flurry of new faces in anyway so there's that uh, new environment in anyway so everyone's just bouncing off each other um, the lads who are here 
have really taken boys under their wing and they've been fantastic. So it's just trying to mix the, 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 the lads that have been here before with the new boys and, and, and just try and get as, as productive as we can as early as we can because the game's come thick and fast. So it's been a great day, great experience and I'm just relishing playing for Hull. Just to touch briefly on your international career, yeah. you're absolutely flying with Northern Ireland at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, it's been good. To be fair, we, we, we've we managed to hit real, real strides, especially since the, the European Championships. Um, we've just kept progressing and just what I stated before, just playing in a team and a system that that suits basically um, my attributes is, is, is how that's managed to happen. Um, I'm de absolutely delighted to be able to do that for my country. It's been fantastic and it sort of puts you in good stead when when you sort of come back to your club domestic level knowing that you, that, that you can do it at that level. So I'm looking to kick on um, important matches coming in September, October, November, which will determine whether we, we make it to the, the Euro 2020. But it's fantastic. But the only way I'll, I'll be able to push for those positions is if I'm doing well domestically. And, First and foremost, it's, I've just got to try and nail a place in Hull, uh, in Hull's team and then Northern Ireland hopefully look after itself. Yeah. Given how it's going with your country, was it important to you to make sure you stayed at least in the at championship level? Yeah, it was. It was massive. You know, I, when, when I went to Charlton from Scotland, um, playing in League One was brilliant. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, I really settled well in that, in, into Charlton and I got the, the chance to go to Bolton. And even though it wasn't... Um, a steady of journey as I thought throughout the season with, with on the field and off the field stuff. You, the championship's absolutely, it's a brilliant league, you know, you're playing against standard of players, absolutely brilliant, massive clubs, massive teams, the 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 crowd you're playing against and it's, it's really, really competitive and, and ideally the games come thick and fast so it was sort of, if the opportunity arose that I could come back and, and, and play in the championship that was that was top of my priority list and, and when I found out that um, Hull were interested um, you know I just I just jumped at the chance to do it and it wasn't just a case of like it was the only fish in the bowl it had to be the right move and after speaking to the gaffer um, sort of how he saw the, the, the club going what he, his demands and responsibilities and, and how he thought he could bring uh, me on as a player it was it was an easy decision for me and the family so as I'm saying I'm delighted to be here championship um, status for another season uh, minimum, hopefully do that throughout my duration of my career here because as I said before the players we have here are, are more than good enough to be competing in this league. And just finally how much are you looking forward to pulling that shirt on on a Saturday afternoon? Yeah, and massively, you know, I showed the kids it, um, when I signed and they were like why has, it got, why has it got a tiger on there, they can't quite come to terms, I was like that's because what they're called, you know it's that's what that crest and then they were like they've got scrab marks so it is massive, I'm, I'm, I am proud and honoured to be, to be called a whole player so um, I'm really looking forward to it, whether that's I get the start or I come off the bench or any time, being able to say that I've, I've managed to play for Hull is, is, is going to be a proud, proper proud day for me and my family, so I'm really looking forward to it.